going to say, I mean, how big a heartbreak was that to go from your goal in that moment to just the, losing the game like that on a PK? Yeah, extremely disappointing. Um, I think everybody watching the game, everybody here tonight, realised that we should be, we should have had three points. So um, ultimately, the game's won and lost in, in big moments, and um, you know we've managed to concede a penalty in the last minute, which is disappointing. And um, we just need to suck it up and and bounce back the best the best way we can. I mean, when you look back, there's a, a thousand little things that if they'd gone your way, the game would have been different. I mean, does anything stand out to you, the one that hurt the most? Or No, I don't think so. I think, you know, we, we, you win and you, you tie or you lose with, as a team. So um, we were all guilty for, for letting that lead slip. Uh, everybody was on the, on the field at that, that specific time, but just ultimately very disappointed. I think everybody watching the game, it's, uh, it's certainly probably the best that we've played since I've been here as a consistent from uh, particularly in the second half of football were brilliant. I thought we gave them so so many problems. Um, just need to test the goalkeeper a little bit more at, at these pivotal moments and I'm sure we'll be okay going forward. Thank you. Uh, Nick Finelli, and then we'll go to Steve to finish. Scott, can you describe what you saw on that goal and like what you were thinking? Kind of give us a little play-by-play. -play what happened for you? For for Michael. Yeah, yeah, for your goal. Yes, yeah, your goal. For me, for me. Your goal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just um, I think it was Jalen going at the right hand side, and <clears throat> I just thought that if I peel off a little bit behind Big Addy, he's either going to head it towards the goal, or if I can make a good angle, um, he can knock it down. And thankfully, that's what he did. And after that, it's about getting a good touch and a good connection, and, and thankfully it went in the bottom corner. But you know, you you want the moments to be the the big moments that win your games. But um, it was a it was a, a sweet strike. But thanks to Big Addy for getting his head on that one. Well, as soon as did you feel as soon as it came off your foot that you were like you hit it solid and like you knew it was gonna have a good chance? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's one of the the ones you ask any football player as soon as you. As soon as you strike something so sweet, you know it's going to trouble the goalkeeper. And as soon as I sort of um, I hit it with pace, I looked at the goalkeeper and I thought he's not going to get down there uh, so quick. So thankfully it went in the bottom corner. Yeah. I guess it was your still right? Think it was this one? Not sure. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> uh, let's go, with Steve Goldberg. <laughs> hey, Scotty, uh, another game winner. Um, right place, right time. But, you know, the way the game was playing out, you know, away to, you know, a strong Nashville team, when the game was 0-0 and you thought it might end like that, would have that have been a satisfactory result? Well, I think you always, you obviously always want to win games. Uh, I think half time it was pretty even. I thought we were sort of dominating play without really causing causing the goalkeeper any, any problems. But in the second half going forward, I think we've done enough to win that game. So, you know, you probably say at half time, um, a draw was a good result, but um, depending on how the game goes, I think we're bitterly disappointed not to take all three tonight. And with, I mean, you haven't been with the team all that long, and then new players like Yere and, and such, do you, uh, where, where do you feel you are as far as the chemistry and being, you know, totally integrated with, you know, where the team is and where you want to go? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're in a good, a good form at the minute. Um, I think going forward in the next eight games is going to be obviously um, our aim is to, to make the playoffs. I think that's um, well within our grasp to do so. I think we're hitting form at the right minute in time. I think in the second half where you can see the phases of play, um, dominating play, winning second balls, which is so important in the in the game, um, impressing Nashville right in. Um, I think they only had that sort of counter attack where they, they put it forward to trouble Cali and goals, but apart from that I thought we dominated it. So. If we take if we take um, cohesion and chemistry in the next eight games, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get everything that we want. Great. Well, thanks. Nice strike. I knew it was going in right when you hit it. So thank you. Steve. Yeah, that was that was sweet. Take travels home and thank you, my we'll man. catch the music. Top man. Thanks, Steve. Uh, okay, final one, Mikael, and then we'll wrap. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Hi, mate. So you've played around 10 games for Charlotte FC so far, if I'm not mistaken. What are, So far, what are the biggest similarities between the MLS and the Scottish Premiership? Um, 
it's a good question. I think this this league is is very physical in terms of output. Um, I think it's very it's very transition. Uh, predominantly, when I was at Scotland, you dominated the ball. Obviously, being at Rangers was a domination team. Um, playing against playing against teams you probably had domestically out with Celtic, you probably had seventy percent of the ball. So that was very enjoyable. Tonight was sort of similar to that, particularly in the second half. Like I say, is when we were pressing up and getting the second ball. So that was very similar. But football's football's the same. Football's the same in every in every league in the world. You you score more and. You try and concede less. It's no, it's no rocket science to anybody. And if you do more of one and, and don't do more of the other, then it's successful. So as soon as you try and complicate things, you you've got a problem. Right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank right. you, mate. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.